Hello everyone and welcome to the vlog. Welcome back if you've been here before. My name is Callie if you're new. I film a lot of lifestyle vlogs and basically romanticizing my life is what I am all about here. So hit that subscribe button if you also love finding ways to romanticize your life. Today's video is going to be all about making your life feel like a movie, making you feel like you're the main character, making your life feel like art. That is what my channel is really all about. I love vlogging my lifestyle and making it feel romantic, making it feel like art, making my life feel enjoyable and basically make my life feel like a movie. So I narrowed it down to a list of 10 things that I do to make my life feel like a movie. I'm basically just gonna go throughout my day and incorporate these things into my day as I go throughout this vlog today. This is my planner, here we are how I make my life feel like a movie. So first we have morning ritual. I have a morning ritual that you saw a little bit of in the first part of this video. And I do my morning ritual every day. I usually journal, but sometimes I don't. Sometimes I make my coffee, sometimes I make a tea, but I always start the morning with some kind of intention for the day. What I wanna get out of today, what my plan is for the day, basically the feeling I want to have for the day. Sometimes it'll be gratitude, sometimes it'll be self-love, sometimes it'll be confidence it really is different every day now since I've already done that part of my day let's move on to number two now this list is not in order of significance or value it is just a list and I'm just going through them as they seem fit throughout my day now we are going to talk about vision boards I make a vision board for every month it's something I just barely started doing and I really have liked I just go to Pinterest and I make a board and I name it the name of the month. I'm gonna put my vision board for September right here. It just kind of has some photos of the kind of aesthetic I want for the month, some things I want to do for that month, some pictures I want to get, basically the overall feel I want that month to have. I'll have some quotes in there, I'll have some activities in there, I'll have some really cute photos and the editing style that I like, basically just the feel I'm going for for that month. Month. And I try to look at this vision board every morning, just kind of get excited about the day and what I want to do for the day, what I want to accomplish for the month. Next is make the mundane feel exciting. Basically taking everyday things that I have to do and giving it a little spice. For instance, I'm going to be working on my laptop today to make that feel more exciting and more productive for me. I'm going to head to a coffee shop that I've never been to before and I'm going to work from there. Just change my environment make things a little bit more romanticized. So let's head to the coffee shop. I made it to the coffee shop. I originally had a specific one I wanted to go to, but it's in the outlets and I totally forgot that it is Saturday. So it is so incredibly busy. I decided to go to the Starbucks in the mall instead just because that seemed like the most logical option and I definitely need to get more basic like little tanks because it is so hot in Florida. So we ended up here. <laughs> Another thing I also wanted to mention is cute cups are a really good way to make your life feel like a movie just like finding little cute things that make you happy that's another way to make the mundane seem more exciting so i found these cups off of amazon they're so cute and they just make my life feel a little more aesthetic and artsy and then i wanted to mention another thing on the list it's consuming good media i've learned that i have to be careful about what i consume because certain things will make me sad. I have to be really careful with Instagram. Instagram really can make me feel not great about myself. It can be really inspiring as well, but I feel like 
you compare yourself a lot to others so making sure that I'm spending limited time on apps like that I also like to listen to some really good podcasts which you saw on the way here I was listening to one of my favorite podcasts I'm gonna put it right here so you can see what it looks like it's called note to self by Peyton Sartin it is an incredible podcast good music helps romanticize your life I feel like when you're listening to good music and it just feels like a movie. I love putting on like jazz or like classical music or lo-fi. I feel like that really just makes me feel very vibey and very just like in the moment. So I love music like that. I have been watching very limited TV lately just because it doesn't make me feel super uplifted. And when I do watch TV, I try to be really careful about what I watch. I used to watch shows like Criminal Minds, Supernatural. I loved like all the crime. But lately I've been taking a break from all of that just because it makes me feel more scared and anxious and in a more negative mindset so I really want to focus on positivity lately so when I do watch something it's usually something funny or something uplifting or something that makes me feel motivated although I do still have my guilty pleasures like family guy let's go into the coffee shop and get some work done Hi, we are in the car. It has been a day of working. I got some lunch, as you saw, and continued working, and then I did some shopping, which brings me to this. I wanted to mention another way to make your life feel like a movie and that is updating your closet. So I like to update my closet throughout like each season, just kind of every so often I like to update my style, just you know incorporate different colors or just kind of reevaluate what really makes me feel like myself. Like what can I wear that really is me and is who I am? And what outfits can I put together that really feel authentically like me? Now I understand that, that can get expensive. So I wanted to mention thrifting. I went to Salvation Army and literally got so much stuff. I have a YouTube short on it if you wanna see what I got. But I literally got two blazers, one button up and a silk scarf all for $12. And I literally saw the same exact, well, almost the same exact blazer in H&M in the mall for $50. And I got the one from the thrift store for like $3. So keep that in mind. There's lots of options when you're on a budget and thrifting is a great one. I was thinking about 
about thrifting today, but I spent a long time at the mall. Brayden's birthday was the other day, but I didn't get him anything because I didn't know he was gonna be in town for his birthday, and I've been with him for the past couple weeks, but I got him these shorts. He is running out of shorts and it is hot. I got him these sweat shorts too, because he loves having some sweat shorts. So now he has a cozy option and a going out option. I just thought that was a cute little present. And then I wanted to also talk about having an abundant mindset. I really feel like your mindset is everything and making your life feel like a movie really is you manifesting your dreams and feeling like you're already living in your best reality and making your reality feel as amazing as possible. And having an abundant mindset is part of that. And basically what that means is you're just putting yourself in that vibration of receiving and just telling the universe, hey, there is more than enough for me and I am more than willing to accept all the gifts that the universe has to offer me and there is more than enough. There's enough money, there's enough abundance of everything. There's enough wealth, there's enough followers, there's enough food, there's enough money for everyone. And just knowing that it's always gonna be coming to you. Your life is always in the best case scenario, the best vibration, and if it's not this, it's something better. Putting yourself into that abundant mindset, I really feel like goes into your morning ritual as well. Because when I'm doing my morning ritual, I am thinking about all the things I wanna get out of the day, and that's really when I can say, okay, I really feel abundant right now. I really feel like everything is going my way. I know that everything is going my way. I know that the universe wants to bless me. And I'm running out of space in my journal right now. So I picked up a new journal today. This is the same like company slash style as my last journal, which was a gratitude journal, but this one's for manifesting. Looks like this. And this is so cute. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. It has like a little key steps to manifesting. So it kind of talks about manifestation. I'll have to read that later. Plan your manifesting goals. So it's got health, career, wealth, family, love, lifestyle. I love that. List what you want to manifest for these categories. That's so cute. Okay, so that's at the beginning. So I think that's the only page that looks like that. And now it's got a morning and a night section, just like my other one. What I want to manifest, expanding my beliefs. Oh, it has a limiting belief section. That is so good. Limiting beliefs and then new affirmation. Aligned actions I can take today. I love this. Reframing how I feel. Imagine you have already received what you asked for. I love this. This one's evening reflection. So this is at night. Aligned actions I achieved today. Gratitude for what I received today. What this manifestation means to me and how it will change my life. And a positive affirmation to carry me to sleep. I'm so excited about this. And the only other thing I got from the mall was these sunglasses because I needed more sunglasses. The Florida heat is no joke and the sunglasses definitely help. Aren't they cute? I just thought they were adorable. So I got these from Urban and it was the only other thing that I got today. But we're gonna move on to our next category, which is taking photos and videos, vlogging or taking pictures, even if you're not posting it, just for you. When I really started vlogging and taking pictures of everything and videotaping things and just filming things in a way that felt really beautiful and aesthetic to me, it really made my life feel like a movie. And I can watch my vlogs and they feel like movies to me. And I'm like, wow, my life really is a movie. So filming things that you find beautiful, taking time to just see beautiful things and just really thank the universe for them. That's what I I do when I'm vlogging. I see something beautiful and I take a little shot and what I really want to start doing is really remembering to thank the universe for that flower that I saw or that palm tree that looked perfect or that beautiful shot of the sky that I got. As for now, let's head to the grocery store and make it feel more like a movie. Just got home from Target and I actually did pick up a few clothing items. So it looks like we are gonna be updating the closet a little bit, which is perfect for this video. What I've realized too about fashion and you know my style is that wardrobe staples are very essential and where you live very much matters. So I needed more tank tops, very breathable, easy clothing because I live in Florida. I didn't used to live here, so all my clothing isn't necessarily 
meant for a place like this. I also really love neutrals and blacks, whites, grays, but I really loved incorporating browns and just little pops of color here and there. So that's kind of what my style's been like lately. Very street style, casual, yet edgy, yet stylish. I don't know, it's kind of all over the place, but within that range. <laughs> So I just got a basic white tank top. I have a couple other ones, but I wear them all the time and whenever one's dirty, I notice. So I got another one. And these are not necessarily Florida friendly, but I wear sweats all the time when I'm home. And I often wear them out too when I'm just doing something really quick or like it's later in the day and I'm going to do something and it's kind of cooler outside. I got these sweatpants. I feel like they're really cute and I could totally wear them like in an outfit. Like if I'm going to run to the store late at night, but I just don't want to look like I'm wearing pajamas. I feel like this looks so cute. Another basic little tank top in gray. And then I got these really pretty satin shorts. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to wear them out. I'm hoping that I can, but they might just be for sleeping. We'll see how they look. That is what I got from Target. I also got groceries, but I'm not gonna show you all of those. I did get some things for my home space, however, which brings me to the next category. I feel like making your life feel like a movie, a lot of times it's the space around you kind of changes and upgrades with your mood, the month, the season then that can really make your life feel more elevated. So sometimes what I'll do is I'll like rearrange my furniture a little bit. Sometimes I'll add little decorations in. Sometimes I'll move where I'm putting decorations. This time I got a few home essentials from Target. So I'm gonna show you a few of them and how I'm just kind of changing up my space just a little. Since it's fall, I got this cute little pumpkin. $3, very cute. Made the space look slightly different, but easy. Okay, I'm gonna show you my living room, but keep in mind, not all of my furniture is here yet, so it's very much a work in progress. We are working with what we have, and that is very little, so bear with me. But I just got some Halloween pillows to make the space feel a little bit more comfortable and homey, so let me show you the pillows. These are the pillows that says, Be Afraid. I thought they were really cute, and then the back, has moons and stars, which I thought was cool. I could also, you know, have this one be this way and then have the other one be moon and stars. And Brayden is covering the other pillow. Say hello. Oh, hello. Do you, do you want? You I kind of feel like margarita. Of course you do. I always do. Ah, you liked it last time. You liked it. Although it probably won't be as good as Pinocchio House. We are going to talk about the next category. Me and Brayden are making dinner. And the next category is to make every day a special occasion. So bringing just different things into every day that make them feel special, like making dinner just feel like a special occasion. I'm gonna light some candles, put on some music. We're gonna make a pizza. I'm gonna put extra tomato on mine to make it feel a little bit more fancy. I like to do that with frozen food, just put a little bit of like fresh, veggies or something over it to make it feel a little bit bougier. I'm gonna light some candles and set the vibe, set the mood for dinner time. I love picking out cute PJs to sleep in, so we're gonna wear some of the Target PJs tonight. Here we have dinner, nice and romanticized. We've got tortilla chips, we've got crackers, we've got cream cheese, and we have hummus, and margarita pizza with fresh tomatoes added. I have a eye mask on my eyes, and I'm gonna enjoy some ice cream. This is the fish food, Ben and Jerry's, non-dairy. Fish food? 
It's it's not actual fish. You've had this before. It's good. It's chocolate with gooey marshmallow swirls, caramel swirls, and fudge fish. So they're not actual fish. They're made. They're fish made of fudge. It's from Aquamarine. That's what she eats in Aquamarine in the bathtub. But she puts salt in it, which we we're not going to be doing. What is happening? Oh, yeah. That's the timer for my iPad. So I can take them off now, eat some ice cream, and drink my wine that's gross because I can't find a good wine. Com comment your wine recommendations because I don't really like the taste of wine. My favorite. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm trying to like it, and there's one that I like. I like the Moscato Dasty or Dasty, Moscato Dasty. It's like sparkling wine, I think, and it's like a sparkling white wine. I like that one. But the rest, I just like can't get on board. So comment your wine recommendations. <laughs> well, I am probably just gonna be heading to bed after I ate some ice cream, and then Brayden, after he's done watching football, maybe we'll watch something together before we go to bed. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful, and I hope that you can find ways in your life to make yourself feel like the main character and feel like life is a movie. I just love finding ways to make my life feel like art and those are a few ways that I do that. Thank you again for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.